What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna find out which corn the deer prefer. I set up some tests and I'm gonna show you some video footage of the deer and seeing which one they prefer to eat over the others. If you have not already and you wanna see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing. Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. And as you can tell, I have some different kinds of bags of corn in front of me. This is gonna be called the Deer Corn Challenge. Basically, I'm going to put all these bags of corn head to head, see which one is better. So um, this is a generic corn, no scent. This is corn with an orange scent to it. And this is corn with an apple scent to it. We're going to see which one these deer prefer. I'm going to set up some trail cameras on video mode and basically see which one is, is hit more than the other one. And that's how we're going to do the comparison is basically which which one did the deer go to more we're gonna we're gonna break this, these bags up into three parts we're gonna set them up in three different locations on the ranch and we're just gonna see uh, see which one works see which one works the best is it worth spending the extra money to get scented corn or you just go with a little cheaper option of generic corn save you some money if it does just as well as the scented corns so if y'all like seeing things like this on, on the channel, definitely give this a like. If y'all want to see more of this type of content, definitely subscribe. Uh, I upload two to three videos per week. And guys, if there's products that you would like me to try out or test against each other, uh, specifically for deer, and guys, if there's any products out there that you use or that you have been thinking about using and you would like me to try out here to see how the deer react to it or um, hogs, whatever, whatever, whatever product you want me to try out, let me know. Um, I'm more than more than happy to put them head to head. These are things that I enjoy doing anyway. So, drop it down in the comments. What would y'all like to see me do next? Um, maybe some some salt blocks, mineral blocks, you name it. Just put them down in the comments. Um, I'd be more than happy to do it. So here in Texas, baiting is legal. So that's why we're going to be putting these three corns head to head to see which one works the best. I know in some other parts of, of the country there's some states out there that um, uh, baiting is legal as well so this will definitely help you all out. So this video is going to take about a week or so to, to basically do. I'm going to leave the corn out here for about a week, put it in piles, uh, just basically separate them out, put them in piles and in about a week I'll return, capture the pictures upload them and put them into a video and uh, see what kind of results we get guys I'm super excited to see what what we get I mean is it worth me spending the extra you know dollar or two for scented corn when I could just go with the cheap generic corn um, we're gonna see we're gonna be setting up some stealth cams over the corn to monitor the corn how they do um, we're gonna basically gonna try to put these on video mode also, if there's any like type of proteins y'all would like me to try out, if y'all would like me to try out, say, like a Purina brand and another brand head to head, see which one the deer actually prefer, because I know protein is very expensive, and this will probably actually help y'all out um, if y'all could identify which one the deer actually prefer over the one that they don't prefer, then there's no point in wasting the money on something that they actually don't want. So, things like that, just ideas. Uh, just drop it down in the comments what you would like to see next. Um, like I said, I'm more than happy to do things like this. I enjoy doing things like this, so just drop them down in the comments. All right, guys, so we're going to get started with this one. This is the unscented corn. I'm going to set the camera up probably on this little post right here. So this is unscented corn. We're going to set this guy up right here. In the middle, here we're gonna put the orange scented corn. So orange is gonna be in the middle. Actually it really does smell like an orange, believe it or not. It actually smells really good. And on the very end, 
is going to be the apple scented corn. So we're going to see how these all do against each other. We have regular unscented corn on my left, orange scented corn in the middle, and we have apple scented corn on the right. So we're going to see which one will do best. Uh, drop it down in the comments. Which one do you think is going to do best? I'm just curious. Do you think the apple, the orange, the unscented? Drop it down in the comments. What do you think? Um, what do you think is going to perform the best? I'm just curious. Before you, before you find out, drop it down in the comments. What do you think is going to do the best? All right, guys. So I'm going to go to another two spots here on the ranch and uh, do the same thing. I'm not going to record it. Uh, it's going to be kind of tedious. So I'm just going to do it off camera and um, we'll be back in about a week or so to pull the pull the cards off the cameras and see what we got i mean i'm curious myself i've never done this i thought it'd be a cool little experiment to see what the deer are preferring and uh what they're what they choose um we could also we could also do this experiment again basically just uh capturing the amount of time they spend at each pile that'd be another way too but for now we're just going to do which, whichever one gets hit the most. So that's how we're gonna count this. Uh, whichever one gets hit the most is the winner. So we'll see in about a week, see what happens. All right guys, so I'm just gonna give you a quick update on the uh, deer corn challenge. So this has been, it's been about three, four days, I think. And we have one that's almost completely gone. There's literally probably, I can probably count the number of kernels on the ground. Uh, one doesn't look to be touched too much and the other one seems to be touched somewhat so I'm just gonna give you a I'm just gonna turn the camera around and give you a uh, update on how many I'm just gonna give you an update on the deer corn challenge we're about midway through we haven't completed a full week yet so we're gonna keep it going swapped out cards we're gonna check it out in a couple of days all right guys so if you can remember I put out this one is the unscented regular corn the one in the middle is orange flavored corn or orange scented corn the one all the way to the left is apple scented corn and look at that that thing is gone guys they just tore that one up so at least in this area of the ranch we know what they like over here so now I know what to do now I know not to waste money on the orange scented or the regular unscented corn. So that's where we're at on that.
So on the deer corn challenge, we did ha have a clear winner. And I'm basically going to do it as a percentage. I'm going to tally up all the photos I got, see how many times each one got hit. And we're going to do a percentage at the end to basically just show you, give you a better representation of which deer corn the deer prefer. And remember guys, if there's any, any other type of products you want me to try out here on the ranch, uh, drop it down in the comments below. Just let me know. I'll be happy to do it. Love doing videos like this. Just drop it down in the comments below. Also, was your prediction correct? Did, you, did the one you think that was going to win actually win? Let me know in the comments below. I personally was expecting the apple and the orange to go head to head. As you know, it did not turn out that way, but that's what I was expecting. So that was a surprise to me. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Definitely go and head over and check out my other videos on deer hunting and deer hunting tactics if y'all are into that stuff. Without further ado, be careful, be good, take care, God bless. We'll see you later.